Hi, this is a simple procedure to fill up the form for e-licensing of radiation application systems. The field marked with the red asterisks are compulsory to fill in. The rest can be omitted if you don't have the corresponding information. In the first tab, start by entering your institute's details. Write in the name of your institute and choose the select the institute type from the options in the drop down menu such as government, private, joint etc. Next, state whether the institute is registered with state or central government. Type in the complete address of the institute with its PIN code. Next, check whether the line of communication is the same as the institute's address line. Write the contact numbers, landline or mobile for the same. After this, select the type of practice you did earlier in the facility section. The various options that will come will be ranging from diagnostic radiology, industrial radiography, nuclear medicine and radiotherapy etc. Pick your option accordingly and briefly describe the role that you played. Start by filling in your full name as it appears in your ID proof or date of birth proof which will be attached in the form. Fill the date of birth as it appears in the proof of identity or date of birth. Document or card for proof of identity and date of birth of employer, select a suitable option from the drop down menu. In the field document or card number, write in the same number matching the document you select. Fill in your complete address matching the same as in your documents. Don't forget to write in your PIN code. As for your contact details, write in the currently in use mobile number and current email ID, which will be used as a registered ID for logging in into your portal again. After filling up the form, attach the documents you wish to produce as your ID proof in the non-mandatory section. In the mandatory field, it's important to attach your ID proof or date of birth proof and employership proof. You could produce any one of the following as an employership proof. Appointment letter of an employer, board resolution, any government or PUC document substantiating proprietorship, partnership deed or proprietor's self-declaration on institute letter head affixed with institute seal. In the end, enter the case-sensitive CAPTCHA code and press submit. Do remember to check in all details again before submitting the final time.